In this video, we're going over the kids mode feature on the Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 Lite. Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. And in the video today, I wanna to go over how to use the kids mode on the Samsung Galaxy A7 Lite and some specific tweaks you'll wanna to make to set it up for your little one. I also wanna give a shout out to Subcase for sending us their Unicorn Beetle Pro case. This is an awesome accessory to pick up for this tablet because if you plan on giving this to a little one to use, just know that it is fragile and you don't want it to break. So this case is super durable. It has bumpers on each side. And also it does have a kickstand on the back, which will make it easy to sit up for them to watch videos. And also it will have slots at the bottom for you to plug in your charger and your headphones for them. So I'll have a link below in the description Make sure you get a case for this tablet because you don't want your little one to have an accident and cost you your tablet. All right, let's go jump in and I'll show you how to get to the kids mode, how to set it up, how to move applications into it, and also how to download new applications to go there as well. So the first thing you'll want to do is swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe down again, and swipe to your left and tap on kids. Now this will take you to the kids mode section and you'll notice at the bottom here there is a little check that says add Samsung kids to your app screen. Make sure that is checked. Hit next. And then it will take you into the Samsung kids section. Now in this section um, there are some pre-downloaded applications. Um, anything that has a little uh, down arrow next to it you can just tap on it to download it. Just like that. Um, so a couple of art games, some singing games. Um, there is a camera and there is a separate gallery to just show their pictures. So if your little one likes to take pictures and you want to keep them away from your personal pictures, this is a great section to put them in. In the upper right corner, you will see three dots. Tap on those three dots. And we want to tap on the edit button. Now when you tap edit, you will need to confirm whatever it is the password you set up for your tablet. If you haven't set one up yet, on this screen it should ask you to set up a password. So make sure we do that. Um, I already have a password, so I'm just gonna put it in. It's a, a what's called a pattern password. Hit continue. And on um, now that we've hit the edit button, I can remove certain things from this section if I don't want it to be there. So if you don't like the Crocodile Adventure, you can hold down on it and you can hit the delete button to remove it off the screen. And, and at the end you can hit save or you can hit cancel. Okay, next we're gonna go to the upper right corner and tap on the three dots. And we're gonna tap on the edit button and we're gonna put in our password Anytime you make a change, they have to put a password in first and this prevents your little one from adding things that they shouldn't have on the tablet. And now you'll see you have a little plus and a picture in the upper right corner. So if we tap on the plus, this will, this will allow you to go into the apps that you've downloaded on your tablet and move them over to this section. So to give you an example, um, let's say you want to put Disney Plus in the kids mode. You would simply find Disney Plus on the list, check the box there, and you could also go through and you could select other apps. Maybe you want them to have access to YouTube or kids YouTube or you know any other specific apps. And then we're gonna hit the plus at the bottom to add it. Now they have access to Disney Plus in this section. Now one important thing I wanna show you, so we'll first hit save, so make sure that is locked in. Next time your kid goes in, when they tap on the little present, it'll show what you've added. So they will always be able to see if you've added anything special to the tablet. Now if they try to get out of this section, guess what, hitting the home button doesn't do anything. Back button, if they hit the back button, they will need the password in order to back out of the app. That's how you get out of the kids mode. You hit the back button 
and then you put in your pin code. So you might be saying to yourself, well, that's cool and all, but I'd like to add more applications for them. How do I do that? So you're gonna go to the Play Store app right here. And I was just searching for some different kids apps. So I wanna show you the process to do this. So when you go to the Play Store, the first thing you're gonna see is this. You do need to come up to the top here and go to kids. And here you can then browse by age group. So ages five and up, ages six through eight, ages nine through 12. And you can see different applications. You can also, you can search by different categories. So arts, uh, language arts, you can just look for specific apps that are free. So quite the selection there. Some of the apps are gonna be free to download, but then when you open it, they will require a small subscription in order to use the app. So be mindful of that. Some of them will have a price, like this one, Pony Style Box. So this one's $3.99, so keep in mind some of the apps won't be free. You can go through and just swipe up to see all the different categories. As you get lower, there are apps for even younger kids. So um, like this is grade one, for example. You can even go to the top and do a search specifically for apps for toddlers. So you have a lot of different options that are gonna be available. Um, so I would encourage you swipe through, you know, to see all the different um, categories that are available. There's teacher approved apps here. You can also add any specific apps that they use for school using the method I just showed earlier. Now, once you've, you know, let's say we download Thomas and Friends because your kid loves Thomas and Friends. Tap install. A few recommendations that I will say that my kids use are ABC Mouse. Khan Academy is a great app. It's not on this page, but that's another one. Um, Lingo Kids as well. So, but there's, there's so many great apps in here. I love that there's such a big selection. So, after this app finishes downloading, obviously keep in mind that it's a pretty large app. So, I would encourage you guys to purchase a memory card. You may want to um, just add some additional storage um, for your media files, just so you have room for some of these big applications. Okay, so we can see here that Thomas and Friends is almost done downloading. So if I want to then move that app over to kids mode, I have to go home. I should now have a shortcut to the kids app. Actually, it didn't even add the shortcut. Let's see, swipe up. So the screen said it was gonna add a shortcut. Oh, there it is, Samsung Kids. Okay, so tap on Samsung Kids. That's another way to get into it a bit faster. And now you need to go back to the top of the screen, the three dots, hit edit, put that passcode in. And now we're gonna hit the plus. And this will show us all of the applications we just downloaded. In this case, we downloaded the Thomas and Friends. So I'm gonna tap the check next to Thomas and Friends and hit the plus. And now I will add the Thomas and Friends app as well. So that's how you add more applications to it. And again, if you want to delete one that you have, maybe you want to take away Disney Plus, just hold down on it and hit the trash button and or delete and that'll get rid of it. You can tap on this button here to change the color layout of the home screen as well. Let's save that. And the next thing I want to show you is if you hit the settings, in the settings, you can change the password. So if your little one sees the password and now they started to get out of the kids mode, you can simply go to lock type and you can change it to a Samsung kids pin. And then you can basically enter in a new password. It's that easy to just change the password. Um, so that's that. And then three dots, parental controls.
Here is where you can add a limit for screen time. So tap here and you can set it. So let's turn it on. You can say, do you want to have a goal for each day? Do you want to have the same limit for each day? It's up to you. So you could just be, you know, basic and say, hey, same every day and say 30 minutes is all they get. And after 30 minutes, it will just disable it so then they can't do anything. Or you can hit set goals and then you can go to each day of the week. Maybe you say Monday through Friday, they only get 15 minutes, but maybe on a Sunday and a Saturday, they get an hour. So you can go to each one. So for Saturday, I can tap the arrows here and I could say, hey, one hour on Saturday, but Friday, 15 minutes. Maybe Sunday is no limit. So you can be more specific about each day of the week and how you want that set up. So that's really cool. All right, so this has been the, you know what, sorry, let me not. There's one more thing I wanna show you that I think is important, um, which is the browser. Because with the browser, you can actually assign specific websites for them to go to. So we would hit plus or new website. Every time you wanna add a site, you will need to enter the passcode. And now you can type in a specific website if there was a specific site you wanted them to have access to, maybe it's a school website, um, you, can in, you can just enter it right in here. Um, and then like, let's just put like, you know, PBS Kids. PBSKids.com. And hit save. And now I can tap there. and then it would take you right to the website. I don't know if that was an actual website, I just made that up, but um, you'll be able to basically program specific websites for them to go to um, that may be our learning uh, focused or specific sites that you're already using. And also I just wanted to show you, if you hit the three dots up here and you tap close Samsung Kids, it will also prompt you to leave the section just into your passcode, continue, and it'll take you out of the kids mode section. So hope you guys found that helpful. Um, I was setting this tablet up for my daughter and I said, wow, like it's a little complicating navigating this, the menus. Let me make a video just to help any first time uh, users uh, set this up for their kids. So I hope this uh, tutorial uh, was helpful and added some value to you. Um, again, I will leave a link below in the description for that case. Uh, shout out to Subcase for sending this awesome case that will add some extra protection and a cool kickstand for um, watching movies and such. So, all right guys, take care. Uh, make sure you like, favorite, and share. If it was helpful, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.